The thing about getting your own food is that it's not always comfortable and it can definitely be dangerous. to head out towards Catalina Island looking for kelp patches or floating chunks of kelp. With schools of bait fish hiding underneath them, this will be our best chance of finding mahi mahi lurking nearby for dinner. You guys ready to go in? Yep. Wait. We hit our first kelp patty and began to swim around. However, the only sign of life we see is this giant mola mola. So we move on to the next one. Unfortunately, this one was quiet as well. But we did notice that some of the bait fish had bite marks on them. So we knew we were getting close. Like, oh, there's probably fish in here, right? Hopefully, one way to find out, right? Rachel's deal, welcome. Fingers crossed. <laughs> At this point, it was turning into a routine. Jump in the water, hang out with the bait fish, and wait. But this time around, the Mahi Mahi were home. Joy smacks a nice one in the middle of the school. But unfortunately, her flopper fails right at the finish line. Seeing this, I race back to the boat to grab a spear gun and try to get one of my own. We are both working this school, and Joy picks off another good one. This time, the flopper stays on, and success. We have our first fish. I find the Mahi Mahi close by. Line up a shot, and... Can't believe I missed that. We're gonna have to go down there and try again. Even after reviewing the footage, I have no idea how this shot missed. But there's no use crying over a missed fish, especially when there's plenty of Mahi Mahi swimming around. Back in the bait, we wait until the school of Mahi Mahi come back. Slowly, they keep circling the kelp paddy, until finally, we get close enough to take a shot. First one Mahi at the bag. That was so sick. I had a shot at the belly, so I let it run a little more than I normally would have just pulled up. Do thing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hold it up. Yeah. Hold it up. Put up your hat. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That's so sick. Woo! What a pretty fish. Let's get some more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they're beat up bait too. And now they're inside the belly, like there's tons of fish inside the belly. Yeah, it wasn't a tiny school either. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Another patty, let's go, let's get it. Thank you. This time, I'm the first one to jump in the water which means I'm all alone for what's about to happen next. I take a shot on a solo mahi mahi. Not wanting to tear it off, I let it swim down to the depths. Oh, 
but as I'm fighting this fish, I notice something else is following it up from the deep. And all hell breaks loose. I realize that with the fish heading towards me, the shark and I are on a collision course. I decide that when it gets close to me, I'm gonna hit it with the back of my gun to scare it away. The shark turns towards me with its mouth open, and my gun hits it in its teeth. But by doing so, my float line is now trapped in its mouth and it's pulling me through the water. Eventually, it frees itself and the shark takes off into the deep. I believe I just went off a little Mariko. Threw me in my mahi mahi. That was... God, that's got my heart rate going so fast right now. Jesus. I think it took off like a rocket. Now that's all left to do is to retrieve my mahi mahi still at the end of my spear. You see him? All right, they're on them, they're on them. Man, what a freaking experience out here right now. Like, I know I have to sit on the boat right now and I'm missing out on all this epicness on the second patty that, or I don't even know what patty number we're on right now, but I know they're getting them good right now. She just dove down. I know she's gonna slam one right now. You got it? <laughs> And just like that, we got another mahi on board. Joy is not wasting any time here. Yep, let's go get it from her. Look at that beauty! Get it. Can you grab it? Got it. <laughs> Still in there. You got it. Pull it up, pull it up. As the sun slowly starts to set, we find one more patty on the way back with Mahi Mahi in it. Leaving the shark experience behind me, I head back into the water with Joy to try to get one more fish to take home. After the shark, I'm having issues with the rigging of my gun. Managed to make it work in order to line up another mahi. They're still super skittish, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you nailed them. Last one. She got him good. Happy. Yeah, I'm showing too. I had a great day today. Oh. That was super fun. I had a blast. Thank you. Thanks so much for taking me out there. Oh yeah, look at that pretty dorsal fin. What do we got here? Eef. What an amazing day out here paddy hopping. This is my first time ever actually shooting Mahi Mahi, so I'm super excited about that. So, you know, what an amazing day. I can't believe they're out here. They're jumping like crazy. We came out here looking for a bunch of fish and we found them towards the end. Absolutely blessed. Now it's time to go ahead and bring these guys back on home. And I'm hungry, so let's go get and eat. All right, guys, welcome back to the kitchen. What an amazing adventure we just had. We got out in the water, we found the mahi mahi, fought off a shark and kept all of our toes and appendages and managed to bring home some fish. So in order to celebrate, I want to show you guys how to make an amazing dish to share with your friends and families. Today, we're going to be making a pistachio encrusted mani mahi with bacon wrapped asparagus and a red cabbage coleslaw on the side. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. Alright, in order to get started, we're going to need fish, parsley, dill, mayo, lemon, cabbage, cucumber, asparagus, radish, bacon, vinegar, and pistachios. The first thing we want to get working on is our bacon wrapped asparagus. So let's go ahead and get our oven started. Crank the oven up to 400 degrees and let's get to wrapping the bacon. Carefully wrap up a couple strips of bacon around our asparagus, just like this, and then set them across a baking tray. Let's go ahead and get these in the oven for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, we can go work on the fish. So let's put our pistachios, parsley, and lemon zest in a blender. Now I enjoy citrus with my fish, so I'm going to put a little bit of extra lemon zest in mine. Blitz everything together and apply a thin layer of mayo on the fish in order to help it hold the pistachios better. 
smelling a whole lot of goodness and hearing a whole lot of sizzling coming from over here. Let's give it a check. Look at that, guys. I would say that's done. Oh yeah, let's let that rest just for a little bit. And now we can go ahead and get our fish. Now we're gonna let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes. Take some sliced red cabbage, radishes, cucumbers, parsley, and incorporate them together with some apple cider vinegar. All right, so that fish just needs a little bit longer to cook. So in the meantime, I decided I want to make a lemon dill aioli. And it's super simple. Well, you need mayonnaise. Put it in there. I'm going to take some lemons, squeeze it on in. And some dill. We're just going to go ahead and incorporate that all together until it makes a nice sauce. You need to add more, add more, but this is already looking really good. Yep. Finally, it's time to plate. Starting off with the lemon dill aioli, going with the bacon asparagus, next the fish, garnish on top with microgreens, and then red cabbage slaw on the side. And there it is, our amazing mahi-mahi dish that we made. We just only had to fight off a shark to get it. But here it is, ready to go. Now let's go ahead and dig in and eat. Let's see how this thing came out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that little piece in the middle right there. That's what we're talking about. That's what we put in all these long hours in the water, fighting off sharks, going diving, putting in the work. Just one moment right here. Cheers. Oh my God, that is so good. I mean, money, money on its own. Amazing, nice, light fish. Get that pistachio crust, pistachio crust. I think a nice little texture, a little crunch to it. The bacon and the asparagus at the bottom mixing well with the lemon aioli. And a nice little side of our slaw as well. Now that was a dinner right there. I don't care who you are. You'll be very happy to enjoy that. Well guys, I hope you had such a fun time coming along on our adventure. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, join the Caught Crew. We got plenty more cool episodes coming on up and make sure to say hi in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and I can't wait to respond to you all. And until next time, we'll catch you later. Eww. In the meantime, I'm eating this. <laughs>